So now we will create or develop a Power Ups Canvas application from a SharePoint list. We already discussed Power Ups is a feature of Microsoft 365 and integrate with SharePoint Online. You can access Power Ups through the SharePoint or the Power Ups UI with a Microsoft 365 subscriptions. Create any Power Ups and application. Uh, you don't need any code or any developer language like C, C, SAP, uh, SQL, Oracle, database or anything. Directly, you can go to the SharePoint list and create a Power Ups Canvas application from itself. Now, let's see how we can achieve it. This is my SharePoint online list called Business Consultation, having with various columns with different data types. First name is my title column. I just rename it to first name. Then you can see last name, current address is my multi-line, phone number is a number field, email is my single line of text. And uh, here you can see organization name, designation and industry type. You can see this is my choice column. If I will go to the column setting and click on edit, you can see all the choices over here. So using this SharePoint list, I will create a Power Ups application. You can see here, this is the integrate option. Just expand it, uh, click on Power Ups and then you can click on create an app. Then the right side and create an app window will appear where you need to provide a name for the uh, Power Apps application. Suppose I will give here inside the name, you can give a, a business consultation app and then uh, you can click on create. Once you will create it, then the application will create and, uh, and it will ready to use. You can see the application is already created with three screen. One is browse screen, one is detail screen and one is edit screen. Also, you can uh, switch the screens from here. You can see once you will click on it, this is browse screen, this is detail screen, this is edit screen. If you will click on this detail screen, it will appear the detail screen. And if you will click on this edit screen, it will appear with the edit screen. Now, what you will do, first of all, you need to publish this app. You can save it by using this option or else by using uh, directly click on publish, it will publish. So, once you will click on it, it will show you this thing. So, publish this person. Now, your app has been published. Once the publish has been done, I will play with this app. That means I will show all the functionalities of these applications. So, for that, what you need to do? You can uh, create a new tab or you can add a new tab. There you just type powerapps.com. Then it will open the Power Apps page. Uh, here, first of all, you need to sign in with your Microsoft 365 credential. Once you sign in, then uh, the application will open. Here uh, from the home page onwards, you can see the app has been, uh, the app you have created. Uh, you can see this is the edit icon, this is the play icon and this is more comments options. So now I want to play this app. So that's why I will click on this and then this, this app will open. Here you can see this is my browse screen. In this browse screen, you can do various operations like refresh, sort, uh, create a new item. First of all, I will show you one by one. This is my gallery control having with all the records from the set point list. If I want to see some specific record suppose i want to see john spins record details then what i will do here you can see uh, there is an uh, arrow icon just click on it and it will redirect to this uh, display form or it will redirect to the details screen this is the second screen details screen so here you can see all the details of that particular person that is diamond gold new jersey uh, and the, its email everything uh, suppose here what you will do uh, again you want to redirect to that uh, browse screen then click on it and it will redirect to uh, this page so let me tell you if you want to search any particular item or any particular uh, by uh, title then you can directly click on this uh, click the uh, employee uh, click the name of that particular person and uh, display all the record of that particular person Suppose you have uh, done some modification in this uh, uh, app, then directly you can uh, refresh that list or refresh the gallery by using uh, by clicking on this icon. Suppose you want to sort uh, the items, gallery items, 
और सपोज यू अरेंज द आइटम्स अल्फाबेटिकली इधर इन असेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर देन डायरेक्टली क्लिक ऑन दिस शॉर्ट दिस ऑप्शन द आइकन विल अरेंज इधर असेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग and uh, th there is a plus icon you can see over here once you will click on it uh, then uh, it will uh, open a edit uh, screen or this is normally a edit uh, power apps edit form so here suppose i will uh, enter a name last name i will enter uh, priti and then the current address i will suppose enter usa and here i will enter something and here you can see asterisk mark so it is required for field that means it is mandatory field you have to fill it otherwise you will get some error uh, gmail.com then organization name i will put ts info then designation i can put set point developer and then uh, i can choose any industry type suppose education and organization size i can put something this and then if you want to cancel the icon then directly click on it it will re redirect to the browse screen or if you want to save the item the new item then click on this uh, check mark or uh, submit item icon click on it it will save and the new item will reflect in the uh, power apps gallery you can see the first item it is showing pretty usa and once you will click on this then you can see all the details of this particular per person so to go back to the browse screen suppose i want to delete one particular item from this gallery then how i can do it suppose i will delete uh, the this one robin so click on it and then you can see there is a plus button so once you will click on it you can directly delete it and it will reflect in the power apps gallery and as well as in the um, share point list once you will uh, refresh the list you can see that particular item will get deleted from this list suppose you want to modify a specific item or specific record suppose i will uh, modify something in this uh, david item so click on this here you can see a pencil or pen icon click on it and uh, here whatever you want to do suppose i will remove this and daniel and i will add like rich and then i will change this hotmail.com and uh, i want to change this check technology to healthcare and then uh, after once the changes has been done you need to click on this submit the item button so once you will click on submit item icon then the item will submit and it will redirect to the details screen where you can see all your changes in this screen so you can see i added this thing reach and and also i changed this hotmail.com and uh, this industry type is healthcare you can see here see here you can modify a specific item by using this uh, edit uh, screen uh, if you want to redirect to the browse screen then just click on this back icon and you can go over here so in this way you can uh, do some functionalities let me tell you one most important thing so here so here suppose i will click on uh, this david icon here you can see only the last name and uh, here you cannot uh, see the first name details suppose you want to add one more field as first name in the details screen so how you can do it to add a new field in any screen what you will do go to the details screen i want to see the first name in the details screen so i went so i came to this details screen now click on this uh, edit or oh, sorry now click on this detail form in the right side you can see edit fields here you can see plus add field uh, option here you can see all the fields are appearing whatever you, your share point list has so here directly you write first name you can see over here first name just click on add and uh, now you can see the first name has been added at the bottom of this fields pane you can see over here so uh, here also you can see the first name has been added to the bottom of the uh, details screen or details form now i want to put it in the first so that whenever user we should see this uh, field uh, at the top of the screen how i can do that 
just again select the uh, form and then go to the edit field here you can see three uh, dot options more excel just click on it and just click on this move up or directly you can drag this and put it the top of the uh, page or top of the field span here and once you will click on it you can see it is reflected in the details form as well you can see over here this is the first name it is appearing with david name once everything is everything is done you need to publish this app again so for that click on publish and publish this person so once you will publish it then only it will reflect in the uh, play screen so now navigate to the play screen you can see uh, here before it was not there the first name once you will refresh this application you can see this one david so here here you can see it is reflected at, at the top of the detail screen that is first name you can see over here from this video i hope you got some idea that how you can create a power ups canvas application from the set point list in the next video we will see how we can create a power ups application from an excel spreadsheet thank you